Welcome to another installment of Connor's Corner Kitchen. Today is butternut squash and sweet potato soup. First thing to do is to take your butternut squash, slice it in half, and scoop out all those seeds. Now, go and take your sweet potatoes, skin it, and chop it up as well. Now do this, this will save you a lot of scrubbing in the future. Line that pan with tin foil. Now, drizzle on some olive oil onto each half of that butternut squash. Now rub it in, get into every nook and cranny. You like that little masseuse that gets right in there. Next, take a little knob of ginger, skin, and slice up some onion. Don't forget a little garlic. Put it all into the pan. Make sure that your butternut squash is lying face down. Put it into a 400 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Get it roasted. Now set your timer. You don't want things to burn like the witches in Salem. <laughs> Once it's done, take it out, mash it up, and reline it on the pan. Add any type of seasoning. I prefer a little garlic powder and some pumpkin spice seasoning. Gives you that taste of fall. Now, use three tablespoons of syrup, but I say do it to taste. That's why I just drizzle it on. It gives a little sweetness to all these robust flavors that you're going to be having. Now, go ahead and throw a little knob of butter in the center and throw it back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Take three cups of chicken stock and season it with salt and pepper. Get that cooking. Now once everything's all done, take it out, let it cool for a moment. Look at that, just steaming with goodness. Now add it to your chicken stock and prepare to cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. Add about a cup of cream. That'll add a little denseness to the soup. Let it cool, and then start to blend it up. You don't want any bits. You want everything to be silky smooth. Warm it back up, bowl it, and enjoy. It's bona fide.